Hi, this is Steve, and welcome to another edition of the World of Global Equity Timing. We're going to talk about trading momentum inside momentum today. This is a concept unique to global equity timing. You won't read about it anywhere else. We created this concept, and it's a very powerful idea. It can accelerate your profits in a trade, and we're going to show you how with this concept of trading inside trading momentum inside momentum so let's go right to the charts and take a look so what we have here is we set up the context of this what, what's we're seeing on the screen this is a green dot symbol gtot it's a financial stock a banking stock internet's banking stock we're looking at weekly bars so every bar that you see here represents five days of activity the trading momentum inside momentum concept is something we want to use under very specific s situations and it says here we want to use this strategy when the environmental context is bullish what is an example of the environmental context well it's things you see on the chart beyond the actual signals that we're showing right here the signals in themselves exist sort of in a vacuum however when we add additional information to the chart such as our filter composite which is a composite of 15 different indicators and we see that for example it is in the green zone that's very bullish so if we have buy signals down here and the filter composite is positive that's an environmental condition beyond the signal itself that tells us this signal will pro these signals will probably work out we also have another environmental context indicator and that is our ADA oscillator that stands for accumulation distribution alert and it measures underneath the action of price itself it looks x-rays underneath price and it measures what the professionals the institutions are doing when this oscillator stays above bullish above zero for a long period of time in the green zone that is a very positive sign and for this particular stock the ADA oscillator was positive for 43 straight weeks while the price basically was in a trading zone probably really going nowhere well that's one of the most bullish things you can see when price is staying steady or actually declining a little bit and ADA refuses to dip into the red zone as we see in some other areas here okay so what is this trading momentum inside momentum concept really all about well first of all we want to only use this concept when the environmental context is bullish and of course we've showed the two environmental context indicators or conditions filter composite and the ADA oscillator which were both bullish but you could go to the outside outside sources you could look at what is this company doing uh, is this particular company in an industry that is really hot right now and at this moment in time we're not going to show a chart of it but this was a financial stock a banking internet banking stock and the financial sector in general was very very strong at this moment in time which would have been another indicator that we don't show here that was very p powerfully positive now i want to show another environmental context indicator that was right happening in this area and i'm going to blow this zone up to show you what that was and actually it is a chart pattern and here it is we have a resistance line which is where price was bumping up against but couldn't exceed well over here when we get our very first buy signal the resistance is broken and that's a well-known chart pattern resistance and once resistance is broken the resistance becomes support so now prices are going to hug this x resistance now support zone and you can see that prices did support in the general area of the resistance zone and we had atom buy signals as well very very positive in terms of, of the chart so now we've added a th at least a third contextual environmental contextual item to our checklist of things that suggest this stock could go much much higher let's take a look again now we're going to go back to 
the green dot on the weekly bars and I want to talk about exactly how this trading strategy works well you see the momentum trend line right here and this is a very tight trend line that follows price up once price stops going up going sideways this trend line is broken right here and our trading strategy is to buy daily bars as long as this trend line remains intact and price doesn't fall below it that's the strategy very simply is to trade these daily bars when the weekly signal is triggered and moment the momentum trend line is below prices another thing i like is the momentum trend line angle is at 45 degrees in other words this is pretty much a 45 degree angle maybe a little higher than that that's good if you have a situation where the the trend line starts going like this you probably aren't going to have a profitable signal and you'll probably get whipsawed in other words you lo have losing trades more losing trades a less successful strategy than when you've got a very aggressive strong trend line that we see here the result of actually trading the weekly signals was a 21 percent return without even dropping down to trading the daily bars what does that mean that means that if you had a one hundred thousand dollar account you would have made twenty one thousand dollars just trading this one stock using just weekly bars we're going to improve those results by actually switching to the daily level let's look at the daily chart now and what we have here are the daily signals that are occurring at the same time we have a weekly buy signal now notice i've outlined this area from here over to here and this is the green area on the chart this was the period when the momentum trend line was positive and prices were above the momentum trend line here where the green stops the momentum trend line was violated on the downside let me show you that chart one more time here it is this was the momentum trend line we're talking about here's where the momentum trend line was was uh, penetrated by a weekly bar and the trading the momentum inside momentum trading strategy would have stopped on the daily bars at that point let's go back to the daily bar and you'll see that green area right here is when the momentum trend line got penetrated so um, as we look at this period in here we're going to notice that we're going to have a let's get back here there we go all right large enlarge that get that chart back to its regular size uh, and we're going to go one down here we are and one down and get back to where we when we were supposed to be here finally right there good okay uh, we would be taking all these buy signals that are occurring in here continually buy signals until the green point came and then we would not take any more buy signals well using that particular strategy trading daily bars we have a return of 21 percent now that again means the 21 percent just happens to coincide with a 21 percent return that occurred on the weekly bars it's not always going to be that way sometimes the weekly bars will return more sometimes the daily bars will return more this was very unusual and then the daily bar result was 21 percent and the weekly bar was 21 percent that means this 21 percent return on a hundred thousand dollar account would have been twenty one thousand dollars if you add another twenty one thousand for having traded the weekly bars as we saw previously on a hundred thousand dollar account you would have gained forty two thousand dollars when do you use this strategy well we said use trading momentum inside momentum when and only when the environmental context favors the situation and favors much higher prices well, I hope you enjoyed this edition of the World of Global Equity Timing. This is Steve saying good timing and good trading and good day.